So, uh, dear students, in this video, we are going to see about the multiple turning experiment number uh, two. This uh, in the computer integrated manufacturing lab. We are uh, continuously watching the videos of experiments. So, in this multiple turning cycle, so we are going to use multiple turning cycle. So, how to use a multiple turning cycle for this experiment? Let me see. So, this is the uh, sketch given uh, for drawing this uh, cylindrical job. So you can see here it is a diameter 7 for the smaller diameter and uh, 9, 9 mm diameter here. Then there is a curve of uh, radius, 8 mm radius and then uh, it goes linearly and to a slope and then a horizontal line that is the linear line. So with a, a diameter of 17 mm. So this is half of the portion is given, remaining half imagine that it is here as per the sketch we want to make a diameter of 7, diameter of 9, diameter of 14, 17, 22, 28 and 30. So the billet size, the raw material size is X30 and the Z44 for the maximum length we have taken. So here uh, a small taper for 2mm and then for 13mm uh, length, so Z, this is called we know Z and diameter is X. So X is the diameter controlling axis and Z is the length controlling axis. So by from this sketch, now what we have to do is first of all imagine that the, the raw material is uh, 30 mm and 44 mm diameter. So, so we have to make uh, imagine the raw material like this. So this raw material, so for we have to consider like this and imagine that it is in a chuck. Okay, we have, we hold this in the chuck and it is going to be rotated. So this is a, a cylindrical raw material and now we have to bring the tool so here a sharp edge tool we are going to uh, bring here and by using this we are going to remove this area so finally what we have to get, uh, get is this uh, shape this is the entire area to be removed this is what we are going to do with this uh, experiment so for that already we know that we have to make a uh, points that is coordinate uh, points so uh, imagine that this is a point one point two so, like each and every point where it goes to end, we are making some points. Imagine that points are here. So, the points we are going to mention as the coordinate value. Since here you can see the P1 as the diameter 7 and 0. Okay. Z is 0. Z is the length. So, uh, diameter is 7 here. But uh, Z is in this area. We are, we are uh, Z plus, this is Z minus. This is Z plus area. Okay. So here, what we have to do is Z0 and P2, this is the diameter getting increases to 9 and the length of this, the travel is Z minus 2, right? And then P3, P3 is a point where the diameter will be 9 and the distance traveled is, the distance to be removed is 15, 13, 2. So from this point, since it moves leftward, it is minus 15. And uh, here from three, P3 to P4, we are going to make uh, 14 minus 22 because this area here, the P4, the diameter is 14 and the traveling distance is uh, for the Z direction is 22. But one more thing is we have to concentrate on R8. So that is the radius 8. So here let me put it as well as on the P5. From here to here, the P5, the point at this exactly the point, the coordinate value is 70 and minus 27 this is the distance and from here to uh, p6 that is 70 minus 32 so the distance from here to here so this is what it is moving from uh, left to right so this is minus 32 and for this p7 the diameter is 22 and the distance is 39 so 32 plus 7 that's equal to minus 39 and 24, 39 for P8, this is the value, diameter is getting increases and P9 is diameter increases to 28 and the distance is minus 44. So uh, like this, the total thing we have, we have made it and now we are going for writing the program with the help of this uh, coordinate points. So first uh, we have to write a, a program number, this is what the first line is to make a program number. Uh, o. This is a O. 
1006 or something else which is having a four digit number for the uh, program and g21 is a metric data input and g98 is a feed per mm g28 u0 w0 this is for the tool in home position okay the tool uh, return to home position wherever it is the tool should be in the reference point home position and then we are going to select the tool which tool we want to uh, operate so either tool number it depends upon the tool station so i am selecting tool number one so with the help of a m06 m06 is the uh, tool selection okay m06 index turret index it is ro rotating and it will select the tool number and if i want to rotate the uh, spindle this is the job which is held in the chart so the job has to rotate for operation so i want to rotate this job that's what i am going to use either m03 or m04 so here m03 it rotates with a 1200 rpm okay fine and then uh, we am going to bring the tool to uh, some position that is g00 x30 is at one so uh, since the job diameter is 30 diameter and the tool has to bring we have to bring the tool near to the job and we should not touch the job so this uh, tool has to reach the job and it should be in z1 okay that's all so after that we are uh, this is in the next step we are going to write uh, g71 and the g71 uh, syntax so what is the g71 so g71 is a multiple turning cycle already we have seen and u is uh, the depth okay how much depth of cut for each pass we are going to give in terms of mm so 0.5 mm or u may be 1 mm that it depends upon the material we can use it so uh, that is the depends uh, u depth and retraction amount then the pq values that is the starting block and ending block so i am going to make write a program for from this point imagine uh, the tool is traveling from 0 point to uh, point, uh, from here actually uh, we are going to bring the tool to x7 that's this is the diameter 7 okay so i am bringing the tool imagine the tool we are starting from the first point so that it's x7 and then it goes to z2 z minus 2 only and for the x9 okay diameter x9 it goes to minus 2 direction and from here the tool has to travel p2 to p3 for 13 mm distance that is 13 plus this 2 so totally 15 so z minus 15 it will travel and then from here to here it has to make a clockwise rotation okay so the clockwise rotation with a radius r8 so we are writing the g02 x diameter 14 which is going to be a final one and z minus 22 like this g01 from here to here it is a linear and it is a linear again it is a curve here so for curve this is counterclockwise so i am going to use this g03 so counterclockwise where i want to make is g03 where it is from this point to uh, when it goes to 0.7 for the diameter 22 and uh, for the distance 39 with the radius r8 so like this if we complete this um, moment of uh, linear and the circular with the help of g01 and g02 so finally we are going to make this x30 we will reach the diameter 30 and then p1 uh, that is for finishing cycle so again the number starting block number so and the end block number this is what the p and the q refers p1 as a starting block number and the q is the end block number so that it will be there and g codes and m codes so finally we are going to complete the g28 u0 w0 m05 for stopping the spindle and m30 for uh, program stop so this is how we are going to write this and uh, with the help of simulation software we are going to copy and paste this in the simulation software so that we will get uh, how to uh, make the simulation so here we can see uh, this so after completion of this what we have to do is we have to go for simulation software and from the simulation software we will do it so right so while writing this first we have to uh, write in a word document so that it will be easier for copy pasting all the things so in this word what we have done is i have written this entire program for this 
so uh, for this okay in this uh, now this is the aim of the experiment right here path program for the turning operation in the given sketch using multiple turning cycle so the multiple turning cycle what it is and how to do it in terms of uh, in the simulation uh, let me see so here what we have done is just uh, we have taken these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 and up to uh, p10 we have written this tabular column x z and r so r will come when there is a uh, radius when uh, circular curve or uh, counter counter clockwise when it comes we are going to use this circular interpolation the radius will be there and uh, then we have writing we are writing the program from a uh, letter o 0 0 o letter sorts and a number four digit number then metric data input feed data input on all the things so once the program is written so now what we have to do is we have to go for the simulation so how to go for the simulation so before going for the simulation just uh, try to copy this and to the simulation points so now you type all the things in a word uh, this is what it is required for copy pasting okay right <clears throat> so once it is done then what we have to do is we have to copy paste all the things so here I am selecting and uh, before that I will open this CNC turn software this is a turning software and just open it we will uh, open this create a new path so here this is the area where we are going to write the program so the program point of view uh, the program already we have written here so this is the program I can copy paste and the starting block to ending block all should come in a uh, line by line manner sequence it should be and let me assure that everything should be in order okay first program number 28 91 uh, 21 98 m06 okay fine here it should come down okay g71 g71 this is the multiple turning cycle so you use the depth of cut continuous uh, repeated depth of cut how much it has to take and uh, return back after the operation how much it has to return back and this is p and q are uh, very very important for the multiple turning p is a block number which is the uh, starting block number where we are going to start the program that is from the point one this is the point one i am going to start the program point one two three four and five six uh, until this end uh, point 10 it will move so i am writing line each and every line 1 2 n 1 n 2 n 3 n 4 and 4 and up to n 10 so that the p and q i am using 1 and 10 so here uh, what we have to do is after this copy now what is the diameter major diameter and major length what is the billet size is x 30 and z 44 okay this is the diameter x is the diameter value and z is the length value so x30 and z44 we are going to use it here so i am going to use the blank size uh, x34 and z44 right so this is what the maximum diameter it shows 30 and 44 i am going to make as a blank here that is the length is 44 i am giving here and diameter 30 uh, starting from z0 there is no change at all and here uh, then once machine select the machine then go for the syntax syntax it shows if there is any error and select the tool which we want normally for external turning tool only we want for entire thing and you select any tool here this is what we we are going to do is i am going to uh, reduce the tool no, nose radius as uh, 0.2 so this is the it will show and once the tool is done go for ok now you can go for step by step line by line or you can go for the uh, end circle so simulation we are going to see here this speed can be controlled with the help of uh, moving these slides so this is used for this and here we can see the coordinate points where the tool is exactly moving so what is the x value coordinate what is the z coordinate and what speed it is running all the things it will come 
and the feed rate what we are giving uh, it will be moved here and what I have given 50, 100, 1000 so F, F is the value it is given for the feed rate and uh, we are giving the feed rate 50 so it will show the 50 mm per minute so 0.5 mm depth of cut each and every cut we can see the uh, 0.5 mm depth of cut this is what the multiple turning process is going to and that is the finishing so the finishing happens uh, that's all so now once this is done then our program is also done okay so here what we have done is the program of multiple turning this is the given sketch for the given sketch we have completed the program right so this is the simulation what we have uh, get from this so this program is over for this 